Planet Bling is one of the most popular stores in Amschlange. Taking us through Raj. Um, oh, hey. Okay, would you mind taking us through your store and showing us the most unique pieces that I've seen um, that you've gathered around the world? Okay, as you can see, basically, uh, we have stuff that appeals to the wider, broad spectrum. We have a large, young audience, but we also have uh, uh, people from all persuasions and age groups. If you look on your, uh, on the side, you find deities of, uh, the, of the various religions, or even if you look on this side, you'll see, you'll see uh, deities from uh, the different religious groups. Surprisingly, you'll think mostly the local supporters, and they do, of course, 60% yes. of the deities are purchased by locals, but up to 40% of the deities are purchased by people from Europe. And amazingly, you'll think, okay, are they of Indian persuasion? No, they are more, they practice the Hindi religion, but they are of European descent. So your main customers, or most of your customers, are tourists, since you have these unique pieces from across the yeah, We have, uh, in, in this one street, there are four hotels. Uh, in the three streets, there are 12 hotels, like the Coastlands, the Holiday Inn Express, the Garden Court, the, uh, the Gateway Hotel, the Suburban Hotel. So a lot of people uh, are in these hotels for seminars and courses. So what actually happens is they hate going into the mall. They get the taxi driver to stop outside the store and they bump in, look around in for five or ten minutes, purchase something for the families and off they go. Where did that come from? You see we have Buddhas from uh, the Northern Hemisphere and we have Buddhas from the Southern Hemisphere. The Northern Hemisphere you have the, ro uh, the rollicking, uh, laughing, big sized Buddha. On the Southern Hemisphere, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, uh, Thailand, you have the effeminate, the female Buddha. So this so is like the female Buddha. So collections from different parts of the world? There is things here from everywhere in the world, every part of the world. Okay, coming back. Okay. Coming back to the swords, I see that you have a collection of swords. People love uh, much of these uh, items, and these are like uh, swords which uh, people like to uh, keep in the collection. Many of them keep them in the cars because wow. they have a lot of smash and grabs. Some may want to just take somebody's fingers out if they put <laughs> their hands unnecessarily into the car. But a lot of uh, a lot of people uh, buy them to keep them in the collections at home. These are basically uh, bongs. In South Africa, they are totally legal, except. Okay, now in South Africa, we call them the hubby bubbly. No, we don't call them the hubby bubbly the because uh, these we call them bongs. bongs. Bongs are where you smoke the tobacco in the receptacle that is there. Obviously, other people use them for other things, but you could use any form of tobacco to smoke in these bongs. Interesting. So, are they different compared to your normal hookah or your hubby Yes, bubble? yes. There is a big uh, difference and even then, in itself, there is a difference. Like, for example, you'll find something that is made out of glass. They always say Coca-Cola. When you drink Coca-Cola, in a plastic, it tastes uh, it not tastes as good. Glass. Yeah, so yes. So, they say all the goodies, when you smoke it, it also smoke, uh, tastes better in a glass. A huge variety of tobacco here. Yeah? Tobacco products and tobacco wrappings. These are rolling paper and uh, tobacco that you can uh, you can uh, enclose in your rolling paper. So these are all the different types of tobaccos which you use in your Ye bong? No, you can use in your bong and you can also use it in rolling paper. Okay. These are rolling paper that are flavored. That smells like cherry. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, strawberry and cherry, chocolate, uh, banana. Uh, Wow, that's Green a apple, huge variety. And you have them in different sizes. And this is tobacco from all over the world, from the Middle East and the Asian continent. You find these are all hubbly bubbly. They have an overwhelming smell. And now you can understand why people are attracted to it. These are your ceramic Buddhas. Ceramic Buddhas, they come uh, from the East. And this is our good friend, uh, Mr. Barack Obama. <laughs> and these are your welcoming uh, cats. They say, give me more, give me more, give me more. 
more protection, more prosperity, more wealth. Now, is that close to how a Buddha? It, they say that if you give a Buddha, give someone a, a Buddha, it creates peace, wealth, prosperity, good luck. Yes, good it fashion. is. Yes, in many ways, uh, most people who give a Buddha, the Buddha is given for good luck. Yeah. But when you give a Buddha to somebody for good luck. Not only you as the ben, uh, as a benefactor, the person who is making the uh, gift uh, or bestowing the gift to the individual, they get if they're up the, st uh, the stomach every day. There'll be a lot of good luck. Likewise, if you when you give it, you also will get the same amount of luck that you give to somebody else. So it's a two-way street. It's a vice versa thing. Absolutely. That's a very interesting, cat. Okay. Find so a lot of marble deities there which are very popular in temples, but many people have them in their own temples, privately in their homes. Now, are these uh, mixed cultural monuments where, uh, where you have Telugu, Hindu? Much of the deities that are here encompass all the, uh, the, the, the Hindu religious groups, yes. which is like Hindi, Tamil, Telugu. Okay, so you got a, a vast... Oh, yes, range. and we also have Islamic uh, artifacts as well. That's interesting. I'm yes. glad that you do. Um, take me through that picture is, there. Uh, what is that? That is a work of art. In fact, it is on a canvas. It's on a. It's beautiful. It's on a proper canvas, and it's in two in two parts. On the left hand side is the left part of the bar of the face, and on the right hand side is the right hand side of the face. It's almost like a 3D uh, picture. And these are all the Buddhas from the Southern oh, Hemisphere. Really and uh, basically, uh, as I indicated to you, with the exception of our jolly father there, all of them come from the Southern Hemisphere. Cambodia, Laos, uh, uh, Thailand, uh, Vietnam. So it is a, it's a different uh, concept, but people uh, love, love Buddhas because it's so uh, serene, calming, relaxing. And, and most of all good luck, which See? everybody wants. Absolutely, and it's non-denominational. Well, Mr. Raj, thank you so much for having us here. And uh, I'm sure you will have a lot of customers coming through. And uh, all the best and good luck for thank the you. coming uh, months. And thanks.